Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy Terrence Pounds back with a update on Amzados. Now, if you're in Amzados, you probably already know what's going on. The withdrawals are pending. Now, before I go any further, let me say I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a risky YouTube dude. Um, I'm in about 40 different plays out here. Some of them win, some of them lose. Um, but you should never invest more than you can afford to lose in anything and always do your own research. And if you can't afford to lose, I promise you better not put your money out there. Now, let's address this. So AMSA Doge has a tax audit that is going on right now, according to their customer service. And during this tax audit, their withdrawals are pending for the next 24 to 48 hours as of yesterday sometime. And so you can't withdraw. If you try to withdraw, it's not going to come to you. And there's no sense in even trying to withdraw because they have said that there's not going to be withdrawals during this audit. Now, how do I feel about this? No, I don't like it. Um, now, to understand the fact that this was supposedly spawned by the fake clone Amza Doge site that went down yesterday and not uh, and when I say fake clone Amza Doge site, I'm talking about CyberDog. There was a clone app out called CyberDog that was a straight clone of Amza Doge that promised more percentage points, uh, launched about January 1st, and a lot of people was in it. Um, I had actually did a video on it, and then I left it up for about 18 hours, then I took it down. The reason I took it down is because I felt that it could potentially be a scam. It seemed illegitimate to me. I told all the members in my crew and posted it all on Facebook groups and Telegram and withdrew my referral links. And anytime somebody asked about it, even up until the day before, which was not yesterday, but the day before, I was telling the groups, be careful, stay away from it, get your seed money out if you got in there, but it's illegitimate. It was a scam. And so it actually went down. So it went down yesterday, which caused a ripple through the industry because people are always looking for the next Amza Doge or the next this, the next that. And they ran into a higher paying percentage, clearly a clone fake app. And I think a lot of people got hurt in that particular project. Now, with that ripple wave through the industry yesterday, it caused a tax audit with um, Amza Doge. Now, I don't believe that they knew the tax audit was coming. I believe that it was all about what happened with the fake site CyberDog. And so the fake clone site or which CyberDog was a clone of Amza Doge, I believe that caused a ripple. And that's what I'm hearing myself. Now, have there has there been any official word from Amza Doge besides customer service responding? No. Um, and I think that the fact that customer service is even responding is great. And the it because they don't have to respond, you know, or they could just do whatever. Now, they also could have shut the whole website down. They could have completely shut the whole website down. Now, since they didn't shut the whole website down, um, I think that's a good thing as well, because there would even be more panic, fear, uncertainty and doubt. Now, do I think that Amza Doge is going to come back online in the next 24 to 48 hours? I do. Um, can I guarantee that? Of course not. Um, now, I think that if you have money invested in Amza Doge, it would be to your best, uh, best, best mindset to make sure that you stay positive. And I'm not going to say your positive thoughts are going to make them open back up, but why be negative? Like, what is that going to do for you? Why worry? Like, what is the worry going to do for you? Now, if worrying will make sure or ensure that the website is going to come back up and, and withdrawals can happen because the website's up. Let me say that correctly. The website's up, fully functional. You can trade. You can do all the quant trading we've been doing. You just can't withdraw. You can even internally transfer to other people still, whatever the case may be. Now, is this the beginning of a rug pull? I don't know. I don't think so. And I have more money in that project than any other project in the space. And so with me having more money in the project, then I'm going to be extremely hopeful that the project that I have the most money in doesn't go anywhere. Why would I want to think any different? And then your worry is not going to do anything but stress you out. It's going to barrel you down. And, you know, and then that's going to cause you physical and mental anguish. And so, you know, just 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 be smart about this, folks. And then also, this is just a reminder, another firmer reminder, get your initial investment off the table. If you've been in Amza Doge over 30 days, you should have got your initial investment off the table like I did. I've been in 45 days. So I'm playing with house money and you should be playing with house money because it ROIs in 30 days. Get your money off the table. 
And so when you put that stuff in perspective, um, and then if you're worried right now, or you know, you feel funny, um, then you need to really rethink your investments. Like you need to like go back, do your own research again. You need to make sure you don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And you should only be playing with risk capital. You know, and, it, and if you're one of those type of people that go to the casino and can't take a loss at the casino, this is a gamble, folks. And then if anybody else did not tell you something was a gamble, it's a gamble. I've been very upfront about this project. And I said, I love it. I love it. I love it. I still love it. Now, even if they rug pull, even if they did slide out, I'm going to sleep tonight. You know, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning perfectly fine. Yes, I'm going to lick my wounds for just a couple hours or whatever that case may be, but I'm in 39 other projects. Yeah, albeit this the biggest project I'm in. I'm in 39 other projects. I ain't got all my eggs in one basket. I hope you don't either. And then as far as like your teams and people, just make sure that you carry on the same message to them that you're not in control of anything. Re-examine your investment strategies. Make sure you're not putting in no more money than you can afford to lose. Take your seed capital off the table. Take gains along the way. This is not about the pie in the sky, building this thing up to millions and millions of dollars and never taking no gains or not taking your seed money out. That's ridiculous. And so you need to make sure that you're practicing good investment strategies with your money. And um, it's OK to talk about it. You know, you got money invested in it. I'm not hearing nothing from nobody with no money. in. So if they don't got money in it. I'm not trying to hear that, you know, and then just 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 so that you can maintain some 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 some, some sanity. Um, don't stress yourself out about it. You know, they're just out of your control, completely out of your control. And so that's what I had to say about it. Um, if you have something, you can drop comments in the comment section. Um, you also can reach out to support. But, you know, obviously support is answering people. That's good. And like I said, they could have just took the website down. You know, there's been plenty of companies that the website just goes down, you know, down or halt trading. You know, I'm in companies that have done that and are back up online. So, you know, you can't look at it like that. And I know a lot of people are in this. There's millions of people in Amza Doge, millions of users. So it affects a lot, a lot of people. Uh, but keep your head up, stay positive. Um, and then also, you know, don't contribute to the FUD. Answer questions, be gentle, don't be rough. It's not about being rough. We're all out here in this space trying to make it and get ahead as well too. Um, well, I hope that did some help for you. Um, God bless you. You have a powerful day. Peace.